Well, good evening to you. One lone shower in Saline County, just a little bit southeast now of Salina. Overall, most of the area has been mostly sunny and dry. There is this feature, this front that pushed through last night, now starting to drift back to the north. It's actually quite a bit drier to the northwest of it, but it's not really all that humid to the southeast as well. That is not, at this point in time, triggering any showers or thunderstorms. All of that is taking place back to the west, west of Hayes. Uh, these showers and storms should start to drift more south than they will east. And so at this point in time, it's looking highly unlikely that we'll get widespread storms into our western counties, but it's not out of the question. An isolated shower or thunderstorm may move into the eastern side of this severe thunderstorm watch box. Again, the majority of it's taking place out to the west, but it does extend all the way east to uh, right now Chase County, as well, excuse me, uh, Marion County, Dickinson, and Clay counties for the easternmost portion of this area. Partly cloudy in Manhattan, but notice the clouds are not building up all that significantly. This is looking off to the west and northwest at that where there should be a couple of storms trying to form if they're going to. But most of the area is sunny. You can see in Junction City mostly sunny. A few thin clouds in Topeka. 92. The heat index only comes up to 94. The dew point has risen to 65 now in the capital city, and that is actually higher than the western counties where it's a lot drier. 92 has been the high so far after a morning start in the upper 60s. 89 degrees currently for Emporia, 88 at Burlington, but 98 degrees at Manhattan as well as in Concordia right now. That's where the heat has been, but it's also where the drier air is. So when you factor in the humidity, it actually feels only like 97 at Concordia. It actually drops back a degree. Manhattan holds at 98. And Topeka rises to about 94 to 96, as does Holton. So, again, a little bit higher humidity in place. We measure that with the dew point. The dew point's in the mid-60s. You can see we've colored it here. A little bit humid out there. But from where we were over the weekend and last week, not too bad and still dry from Manhattan westward. Over the western half of the area, it's just not that humid yet. But the southerly winds returning, helping to bring back some of that higher humidity. You'll see this on future track. As we head through the night into the morning, kind of a low to moderate amount of humidity. But it builds back in tomorrow afternoon. Darker greens, meaning more and more humidity in the air, a little muggy for the late part of your Wednesday. Thursday, muggy as well, especially for the eastern half of the area. And then Friday, a front starts pushing through, starting to dry us out. And look at this heading into Saturday, low humidity and much cooler weather comes back in. Again, tomorrow, though, it's on the way up. And we'll climb up into the muggy category for tomorrow's humidity. Uh, definitely a more uncomfortable warmth and hotter temperatures as well. Our skeeter meter, well, that's running high with that increasing humidity. Expect the active mosquitoes not only tonight, but tomorrow as well. Here's a look at satellite showing the thunderstorms in western Kansas. Pretty quiet over most of eastern Kansas. Tropical Storm Cindy coming into the Gulf Coast region is actually going to change our forecast because when it moves east of us, it pulls down that front more quickly. And that's why it's now coming through midday on Friday. And it's also going to help pull in even cooler weather as we head into the weekend. So good news for us on that. 94 tomorrow, 92 Thursday, a chance for storms late Thursday, Thursday night into early Friday now with a high of 85, then cooling off. Look at that weekend. Thank you for the uh, cool down, Cindy, on that one as the tropical storm helps to pull that in. We'll get some mid to upper 70s over the weekend and also a chance for a few more showers and storms on Sunday. Well, Jason Brookie, there's been some controversy over whether or not today is the first day of summer. I want to clarify, a lot of people's calendars say it's tomorrow, but that is because in the eastern time zone where a lot of the calendars are printed, it actually happens at 12.24 a.m. For us, it's today Ooh. at 11.24 p.m. Okay. So technically, we get to start summer a day earlier than the East Coast. You heard it here, folks. Matt Miller has Why are we here? That. We should have taken a sick day and really made the most <laughs> uh, of this day. Should have, really.